November 14th. Oh, have to click. Mr. Nash, could you come over here for a second? We need to talk. Dr. Kanaan just... Hold on! Hold on! One second. Tip, what the hell? What are you trying to do? Don't you remember what happened to Vic? You want that thing to explode in your hands? You want to lose your fingers? Put it back right now. Until you get some new cartridges, no one touches the shotguns. We agree. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not going to shoot it. I just wanted to use it to scare old Kleiner. <laughs> Want to see that stubborn idiot shit himself? Yeah, he's probably going around in diapers. You seen that fossil recently? You don't think I am not listening. Just put that thing back. Damn it, Lily. Stop acting like you're everybody's mother. I'll stop playing, mother, when you idiots stop acting like children. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bundle. You won't be talking like that after I... What's your name, son? Tip Rami, sir. Why do you need a shotgun, Tip Rami? To frighten an old man named Herman Kleinert, sir. He's a local cobbler. Mm, the thing is, sir, the old man's grandson, Matthias Kleinert, recently raped a schoolteacher, and now no one knows where he is. I'm sure, sir, I mean, everyone is sure, that old Kleinert is hiding his grandson somewhere. We tried talking to him, but it got us nowhere. To be honest, sir, the grumpy old maniac just stood in his door waving his gun, so talking just isn't going to work. Uh, I want to squeeze the old dirtbag, sir. Squeeze him good and get him to talk. Kleinert's gun shoots salt. Salt? That's right, sir. Salt. But what's the difference? I'm not saying he was going to shoot me. I just wanted to scare the old goat, you know? It's not like I'm going to shoot him. Probably. When you joined the sheriff's department, they gave you a gun, right? Of course, sir. But who's scared of a tiny little pea shooter? Everybody in Sharpwood has a gun. What else did they give you? I'm sorry, sir? When you entered service, what else did they give you? Uh, I was given... issued a uniform, sir. What else? Uh... the radio? And that's it? Uh... and a knife. This knife? That... that that's correct, sir. Big, huh? I... I... I guess so, sir. What do you think, son? Think you could scare somebody with your big knife? I don't... I don't know, sir. Well, think about it. Here you have a big, shiny piece of cold steel, nice and sharp, and you're holding it right to some bastard's neck. You bring it so close that one careless movement and you'll open an artery. But let's say you haven't lived such a clean life. You like to drink, so your hands are a little shaky. They shake all the time. If not today, then maybe tomorrow you'll slice someone open by accident. You think that's scary enough, son? Yes, yes, sir. It's very scary, sir. Well, then what do you need a shotgun for, son? I... I'll put it back, sir. I'll put it back right now. Well, what are you waiting for? I have work to do. Can I go? Yes, I just wanted to... Come to my office in the evening before you go home, okay? Okay. Rosencrantz didn't come in to work today. Mr. Nash... T yesterday we cut down such a huge oak tree that it could have made it across the great rift from edge to edge. Do you remember Lenny, the drummer from my band? So we made him a bunch of sticks from this oak, and in honor of the victory, he decided to play, to try to play with a metronome for the first time. But after just a minute of playing, he had some kind of attack. He was shaking all over, and foam came out of his mouth. We had to force one of his drumsticks between his jaws so he didn't grind away his fucking teeth. Anyway, the guys drew lots, and today is my day to sit with Lenny. We need him to get better. The concert di my cousin is coming up. I know you don't mind, Mr. Nash, and tomorrow I'll definitely on be on duty. I've already ironed my uniform. <sighs> okay. Mm. I've got one good officer, I guess. Just auto-assign, I don't really care. 
You can send your cops to collect additional information or look for new frames on the suspects. Any cop engaged in an investigation will be unavailable for most of the day. Okay, so who's actually smart? You are. All right. Code I. Theft. An unknown person entered the court building and stole the personal files of convicts from the archives. All right, send you. You've got some intelligence at least. Oh. Five fifty one. That could have worked. Progress. Oh well. An armed gunman with a stocking on his head was trying to rob a bank. The guard saw the gun in the robber's hand was only a toy and opened fire. The guy raced on onto the street. Who's got speed? Okay, grab you and grab you. Is that Mr. Nash? I'm very sick here. You don't think I can make it to work today. I'm calling for another urgent matter. I need to pick up some things from the laundry. I've got nothing clean at home, not even a sheet. And the doctors say I can't lie in my dirty, sweaty sheets or I'll never recover. Can you help me? Of course, I wouldn't ask you personally to go to the laundry for me. Friends who's on shift right now, he can do it for me. Please just let him off work for a while so he can come help me out. Okay? Guildenstern. Guy with a stocking on his head is sitting on a bicycle near the bank. Turn on the siren. Uh, da -da. Cut him off. Five fifty one complete. Patrol car pulled in front of the bicycle. He crashed into the car, fell off the bicycle, and was easy prey for the police. Turned out that the guy wanted to get a hold of some money to buy himself a car. And brings this guy up to fifty five. Uh, da, da, da. Increase your stealth, I guess. Silencer, very good. Five thirty in progress. All right, city center. A large man was crossing the road at a green light and almost got run over. A car filled with noisy teenagers skidded to a stop inches away from him. The man decided to teach the young driver the rules of the road and dragged him out of the car. In progress. Okay, uh, da -da -da. just a little bit longer and I can send someone to that. Right, I do not have enough professionalism. Well, that could have gone better. Hit and run. No one came to the call. Suspect has hit. escaped. Calm everyone down to negotiation. Five thirty complete. Took them all to the station. It's me again. Thanks for helping with the laundry. I'm finally lying on fresh sheets now, and I'm already feeling better. But I got all mixed up when I had that damn temperature. I forgot I needed to pick up my dog Alice from the vet. In fact, I'm already late, and if no one comes for her today, the poor girl will just get thrown out into onto the street. My friend is ready to go pick up Alice real quick and bring her home. He'll let him off work, right? Sure, whatever. Public indecency. Factory manager looked out his office window and saw someone taking a, on his old car. Needs 200 professionalism, so you two can go.
Mr. Nash, it's me again. Seems like we only talked a minute ago. Thanks for helping with the dog. I was terrified at the thought that she might be turned out onto the street. Today I've got even bigger things to worry about. My temperature has only dropped a little and I have to rush my wife to the hospital. She just went into labor. I got you here in such a hurry I forgot to turn off the stove. I made myself chicken broth for cold and all according to the grandmother's recipe. My friend says he can go turn it off. He'll literally be done in an hour. I hope it's not a problem. And you'll have my gratitude to my dying day. 540 in progress. Okay. Will you go now? Dang it. Harassment. Okay. Uh, 45 seconds. Strain the old man. Use Spurlock. That's a bad idea. Hmm. Let him finish then. 520 complete. Surrender to the police. Thanks for waiting. It was also nice of you not to put my face in the car's hood. Turned out the old man wanted to take revenge on the factory manager for forcing him to retire. Alright, you can have... Hmm. More... Intelligence. Awareness perk. You can have speed. Come on, people show up. I need bodies. Eight, seven, secret of the pink check. Uh, gum. Tommy Moore, leave Elmer house. Uh, put the video player into his backpack. Goes with his backpack to the toilet. Uh, watching. Quietly sneaks out. And there we go. Close. There we go. Great. Started harassing a young history teacher. You. You. And you. Interrogated some of the witnesses and prepared a preliminary report for the mystery of the black box. Okay, so man, the hoodie pins the guard to the wall with a wooden stake? What the hell? Is there another stock? Uh, burns the soul folder for his sister's case. So. You did not uh, get the witness statement from the guard that is supposedly pinned to the wall. We keep strict reception hours, but I always help people anytime because officers of the court must always stand guard for justice. One time there was a case where Marcus Repo's cat was going to be put to sleep because it kept going into the neighbor's property and killing the squirrels. I was all over and puzzled out in my head. In the end, I was able to prove that the cat was too fat to be the culprit, and the real criminal was an old hermit who lived at the end of the street. Can you imagine? I love to help everyone, but unfortunately it doesn't always turn out so well. A few days ago, a man came in, a nice-looking monk, or probably a witch doctor. He was wearing a hoodie under his sheepskin coat. He said that he's fulfilling a holy mission and helping recently released female prisoners return to a normal life. He asked for some several personnel files, but I had to refuse because these papers can only be accessed by official signature. It's too bad, of course, but at least it worked out good with the cat. They called him the Snow Savage. 
The door was opened improperly, but not with brute force. A few wooden splinters were found in the lock. Inside, it's a mess. A box filled with old case files is spilled on the floor, and next to it are a dozen fresh cases of male defendants, and the black lid from the stolen box. Well, that paints a pretty damning picture of this guy. The man has pushed the teacher back into the chalkboard and is reaching up her, under, his, under her skirt. The girl is trying to push him away with one hand and is reaching for her pointer with the other. Restrain the criminal. 540 complete. Cop managed to overpower and arrest the criminal. He immediately repented of his behavior. I've always been like this. I can't control myself. When I see a teacher, I just lose my head. Ugh. Max out your stealth. Shini earned the ninja perk. Before raising the alarm, the policeman gets one more action. Up to three actions maximum. Okay. Two strength is pretty good, I think. Four criminals arrested, and one got away. So, 17 plus. I just need more people. Uh, let's see. You're cheaper, but you have 200 more professionalism almost? I can get that up. I'll buy the cheap guy. Rockman. Okay, tomorrow I'll get these two. Rosencrantz, uh, Rockman, Birch, Glimsy. Okay, that's strength taken care of. I've got intelligence, uh, intelligence, strength. Do I have anyone for diplomacy? Shooting. Yeah, I have one person for negotiation. Eh, Birch is getting there in negotiation, but he's also one of the intelligence ones. Urf. Can't take Goat Horn too. Might as well grab you as well. And everyone else can rest off the day. Not gonna work every day? Fine. End the day. So, you want to talk? Yeah, I, um, well, before, before I, well, thanks for helping me this morning with Chip. Sometimes he just, anyway. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. It's very serious. I mean it. It's serious. As far as I understand, yesterday you had some kind of, some kind of altercation with Charlie Fletcher. <laughs> Dr. Canaan called me and, well, Fletcher's going to be okay in a couple of days. It was nothing serious, but I don't want this happening again, all right? I can't promise you that. I, I don't understand. I said that I can't promise you that nothing like that will happen again. Listen, Jack, I don't like Fletcher either. It's but... not Fletcher. I will treat my subordinates as I see fit. That's what I mean. But Jack, there are boundaries. I, as the sheriff, I draw those boundaries, okay? I respect your experience. I do, and I... I just want to say there are rules that must be respected, and I believe that these rules are an integral part. A part. You know, I believe we understood each other, and there won't be any more problems, right? What? 
Why am I here? I'm sorry? Why am I here? Well, because I, I, because I asked you to come and talk, and I... No, no, not here in your office, but in general, here. What am I doing here? Why am I here, Lily? Because you... Because you got into a difficult situation, and now... I'm helping you steer the department. Look, I could run. I might go to jail, but I'm here. Why am I here, Lily? We could call it a mutually beneficial deal because... Why, Lily? It's a simple question, and the answer is also simple. Why am I here? Jack, I don't know what you... Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Some bearded old man with fake documents strikes up a conversation with you, and suddenly he's... Jack, please, you know how much this... Becoming the sheriff's right hand. Actually doing all the work of the sheriff. How does that happen, Lily? Come on, tell me. Jack, I'm begging you. The answer is already in your head. I just want you to say it, Lily. Say it out loud. Why am I here? I'm begging you. Say it. Why am I here? Because I'm a shit cop, right? I'm a shit cop. I can't do anything. Shit cop, shit cop, shit cop. Without you here to help, it would be the end. You wanted me to say that. Is that what you wanted? Are you satisfied now? I'm very satisfied, Lily. Mr. Nash, Lenny is much better. Thanks for keeping him in your thoughts. He didn't go to the doctor. We decided he was just anxious because tomorrow is our long-awaited concert. I'm going to rehearse today until I can't feel my fingers. Wish me luck. Mr. Nash, thank you for your help yesterday. I always knew you were a stand-up guy. By the way, my wife gave birth so quick that the stove was still warm when we got home. Uh, auto sign. Okay, add a cop to this open investigation. Who's smart? Uh, da -da. There we go. What sequence do I need to have for this? Cool boy. He stole the video player because his family is poor and he envied Eric and his wealthy parents. Perfect.
Okay. Mr. Nash, I'm a freelance photographer for the Sharpwood Police as well as a part-time sniper. And I'll tell you straight out, I like being a sniper much more than photog photographing some bastards at weddings and children's performances. Anyway, Miss Reed said I na I, that now I will work in your team. I'm finally t I'm glad to finally be home. I went down to Freeburg to buy some lenses at Atticus's photography studio and my pickup truck starter broke down. I had to spend a few days in the city, and I can't stand it. It always seems to stink there like rotten oranges. Anyhow, I'm at your disposal, and I'm ready to sh shoot some people. Arrest of Tommy Moore. Arrest of Tiny Tommy Moore. Uh, da -da -da -da. Send these two. And send this guy. 518 in progress. Destruction of property. Elderly woman lost her temper while standing in line and smashed a glass counter with her cane. High strengths. And let's see. Negotiation. Now I'll just send her. Rest of Tommy Moore. You missed the criminal. Tommy Moore was here but recently left. Child abuse. Threatened to castrate with a sickle. Okay. Strong and. Speed stealth. Good combo. Fender caught. Plus 20. Tomorrow, Judge Trent will consider the case, the synchron of the pink chewing gum, in which Tommy Moore will be charged as a defendant. The old lady, enraged that the bank's slow pace of service, is shanking her cane menacingly. I don't have enough time left on earth to spend hours in the Devil's Bank. Remind her she's not the only customer. I understand all that, officer, says the old woman, but that little chicken head takes a break every ten minutes, so I smashed the glass so she'd know there are actually real people waiting out here. Ask the cashier to serve her real quick. 518 complete. Alright, uh, time to redo this day. Continue. All right, send Belmont. Send all of them to arrest the guy at school. And then they should get back in time for the next uh, thing to arrive. 518 in progress. Destruction of property. Send flower pots. And I'll try choosing a different option. And they all gain plus 20 professionalism. You can have another speed. You can move an additional one or more cells. Five thirty-four in progress. All right, so this is the... Uh, Right, I need to wait for, like, three more seconds. There we go. Hmm. We've got speed, we've got some shooting and pull in some strengths. Warn her she might hurt someone. 518 complete. The old woman admits she is being unreasonable and surrenders to the police. Great.
Okay. Papa is repair short. An auto mechanic who came to work on the last day before his retirement drove off in an expensive convertible. Okay, so I've got intelligence, I've got shooting, I've got stealth and speed, and I've got negotiation. And as long as the thing that comes up doesn't require 800 more professionalism, sneak up. Uh, crud, I need more strength. The cop managed to sneak up and arrest the offender with the sickle. The boy is no longer in danger. Great. Mm. More stealth on the guy with strengths. Block the road, I guess. Five fifteen complete. Oof. Okay. Uh, redo that. Sneak up. Overpower. Five thirty four complete. Great. Uh, increase your stealth. Because that worked last time. Ram with speed? No, with uh, intelligence? Sure. 515 complete. Oof. Fender dead. All right, try that one more time, but shoot out the target's tires. Shoot. 515 complete. Cops shoot out the tires, and the hijacker, realizing he's not going to get very far, surrenders to the police. Finally, he doesn't die. Okay, sneak up with you. Overpower with you. 534 complete. And great. You get more stealth. Ah, right, you're on an investigation. That's where it is. In progress. Animal abuse. Reported seeing a young guy being mean to a dog and threatening it with a stick. That's probably a false alarm. I mean, has she never heard of the game Fetch? Armed robbery. Full tactical operation. Uh, okay. Postman reports that the post office has been taken over by armed men. As soon as I saw those hicks come through the door, I knew there would be trouble. One of them had been here once already. He wanted a package from his sister and wanted to check the warehouse himself. I shouted at them I'd be right back, but instead I hurried to the, into the warehouse and locked the door. Then the criminals started trying to break down the door. I went to the back window, but it was swollen shut. They were shouting that they'd shoot if I even touched their package with the instruments for summoning a forest spirit. So I broke through the window and ran over to Bat Ear's gas station. I think they're still in the post office digging through the packages. 551 in progress. Oop, robbery. Man claims that four spirits are bursting into his house with thunders howling. They want to steal my soul. You've got intelligence and negotiation. You've got speed. In case there's actually something.
Animal abuse. Wasn't being mean to a dog, but playing with it. The dog happily fetched his master's stick, then casually licked the palm's, cop's palm. The mystery of the black box. Opening the investigation. Man, the hoodie throws out some folder from the box of the recent parolees. Man sneaks in through the back door. Hmm. Looks like I need more frames. Attempted robbery. Suffering from insomnia, the man mistook the wind along the street and the shutters on his windows for angry forest spears. The doctor has already been called. Okay. We've got shooting and intelligence. You've got intelligence. So take you off, put you on. Strength, intelligence, stealth, speed. Speed, stealth. Taser, flashbang. Stick. Stick. I need more sticks, apparently. All right, you're not on, you are. Mr. Nash, usually near a crime scene, you can grab a few onlookers and get some useful information out of them. They're not always willing to help a cop for nothing, so we sometimes take stuff from the evidence lockup with us. It's only just lying around in the warehouse. Maybe someone will be interested. Okay. I don't know. Cops have arrived at the crawling scene. I was dragging through a garbage can, but I was frightened by some goons with guns. I was big, but then some goons with guns came walking down the street, and all you care about is harassing folks who were just quietly digging the trash. Do you think I like digging through the trash? Well, I don't, but there's nothing else to eat. One time, this pig with a lisp arrested me, slammed my face into the hood of his police car. After that, I told him I'd just roasted a rat in the park. It was that or die of hunger. And this cop almost threw up when he heard my story. So listen, you give me a can of paprika and no asking covers questions about what I need it for. And I'll point your nose at the map and show you where you guys should go if you don't want them to become rat food. These goons were all busy in the post office warehouse, but now they're searching the office. You don't want to go in through the front. Instead, come in through the warehouse. They'll crap themselves. Ambush that uh, who chased me away. He's near the monument. See if you can fix his nose for him. And tell your pigs they don't need to bother me anymore. Trash cans are my jurisdiction from now on. Okay, so can come in from the back. Uh, who usually goes to the post office? Normal guy will die on these lines. So I was up on top of the pole. But yeah, I noticed a group of guys squeezed through looking like them. Anyway, I'll tell you everything I saw. If you get me a cassette player, I don't have one. Do I? I don't know. There were six of them. One guy stayed outside watching their back. First, I thought he was just having a smoke in the parking lot, but then I saw he was holding a gun, and it all started making sense. I live across from the post, and I know everything, even when he goes to the toilet. I don't have the peaches. I like the TV, so I looked through those windows. Wild dog attacked a postman. Wild dog carrying the mail. Today, I really wanted to make a pie. Give me some cans. Yeah, I don't have the cans. Okay. So, proceed. Sentry. Policeman sees further. Hunter. Burglar. Sentry. All perks assigned. Oh, wow. You have a lot of perks. Mm -hmm. Anyone have a small number? All right. Looks like I have you. Uh, did I? You've got speed and stealth. Patience. Shadow. Silencer, Volley, Ferret, Chameleon, 
patience. Okay. Battering ram, jumper, silencer, knockout. Sentry, atlas, shooter, chameleon, burglar, interception. Shadow. You do not have a Billy Club, so I do not want to you take Knockout. Uh, you've got a Taser, and you've got a Stun Grenade. So take Silencer. Burglar. Um, Sentry. A hunter. Lucky shot? Hmm, nah. Sentry. Take shooter and lucky shot just in case. Rosencrans. You can have. Uh, da -da. Interrogator, Force Surrender, Chameleon, and Ferret. You have so many perks. Freeze, buddy. Negotiation. Battering Ram, Knockout, Force Surrender, Freeze, uh, Shadow, Athlete, and Awareness. Okay. So, there's one guy in the statue. I want to go in through the warehouse back there. Flower pots. Belmont. Roger. Roger. Put your right there. Put you right there. Roger. And put you right... Well, right here for now. Okay, who has the equipment that I need? You do not have the baton? Do you have the baton? I forgot who has what. Whoops, dang it. Okay. You have a baton. Okay, good. So go here. Click on this guy. And then baton. 
you move right here. And next turn, you will uh, take care of him. Arrest. Get on the ground. And then move over here. Move over here. Flimsy. Which one are you? Okay, you do not have a thing. You do not have a thing. You do not have a thing. You do have a thing. Rosencrantz. Which one are you? There. Okay. So, move here. Suspect. Beat over the head. You. Head up here. And then head right here. Flower pots right there. Keep an eye on everyone. So there's three in this room. And then, uh, one somewhere in here, it looks like. into that room. He does not go in this way, which is convenient. Okay, uh, do not use you first. Use you. Arrest him. On the ground. Criminal scum. Move here so that I can get a good look what's in here. Alright, it's just the one dude. Okay, where's number three? Or number six? Pots moves here as one move. Moves here for another. Move there. Then move into the doorway. Rosengrantz can uh be right here, I guess. Is there just end turn? Yeah, there's the end turn button.
Uh, Alright, put you there. Check my supply list. So, you have the baton. You have the baton. But you do not have enough movement to get to the guy right now. So, end turn, he'll move closer next turn, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Rosencrantz moves right here. Beat you over the head. You will move right Okay, that's not the best idea. Flimsy, Belmont, Kuzia, Flower Pots. Ah, just barely not enough to hit there. You know what? This might work. Yeah. And now next turn can arrest him. This guy, arrest. Rosencrantz can move right here. Beat him in the face. Flower pots can move right. Oop, okay. Can move right here. Arrest. Clumsy goes right here. Perks. You don't have perks right now. Roger. Whoops, wrong button. Anyone else? We have visual. Ah, I found him. Okay. Roger. 
Let's see what he does. Rockman, you... Uh, da, da, da. You have a taser. Do you have perks? Ah, good. Shadow, put you right here. And then... Oh. Well, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Rosencrantz, go right here. You don't have any perks. Get over here. Belmont can go over here. Flash grenade right there. Then enter. And arrest. Spent two stun grenades, though. Okay. You are now three intelligence. You have more stealth. You have more speed. You have more stealth. Nice. Three actions a turn. You have more stealth. Uh, okay, so now you need to branch out to something that isn't shooting an intelligence. I'm thinking negotiation because that's very useful in the daytime stuff. Interrogation perk. And end the day. 45 bottle caps. Or can tabs. Hmm. Alcoholic, alcoholic. Extra body. And a baton. Your stuff. Yeah, I always need more batons. You've got high professionalism but and good stats, but that alcoholism I can't deal with right now. Tomorrow shift. Whoever this guy is. You, 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 and you. Take Rosencrantz too. Since he skipped one of his shifts earlier. And take Flower Pots just because she's my best unit. Alright. I think I'll call it there.